about married to medicine at this point right now. Everybody want respect, but nobody wants to give it. And it baffles me that these ladies are adult doctors and they act like freaking children who don't have no home training, okay? I know it's not just me is that seeing this, okay? They always want to holler, respect me, respect me, but nobody wants to give it to other people. And I'm beginning to notice that American black people have a problem on respecting other people, all right? And so you have all the doctors, Dr. Simone, Dr. Jackie, Dr. Contesta, and Dr. Eugene. They are doing video diaries about their work and how they is dealing with the pandemic and how they feel and how it is affecting them emotionally and how they're not getting enough sleep and how they is in the um hospital more than they used to and it seems like what happened to all the other sickness because all they're hearing about is this pandemic this pandemic and it's like a lot of people lost their businesses to this pandemic even though in the pandemic, it did not stop the baby boomers. People are still having sex and they getting it popping. And babies are still being born. Everybody is getting their sexy on, okay? It ain't slowing down the sex, alright? Dr. Heavenly actually has a patient named Miracle comes into her office. And she is part of this organization called Good Kids Mad Medacity, I believe that's what it's called. And she tells her story how a white cop punched her in the face while she was filming the man that was getting arrested and messed up her teeth. And I said, this story actually made me mad as hell. Cause I like he had no right to do that. If people was protesting, let them protest. Dr. Heavenly actually heard of the story because somebody sent it to her. And she did a good deed and flew her out to get her teeth fixed under her program called Smiles. I'm assuming Dr. Haley fixed Miracle Teeth for free. Anelia and Toya is having a grown woman play date. They is going to tennis. And they is in... And they dreaming about how they're going to be great neighbors. Amelia can't wait to move into the community. Amelia want to party all night. And Latoya is like, hold up, man. We cannot party all night. We do have children, all right, that we got to go home to and take care of. I like, yo, Amelia is funny to me because she want to party all night. Lord have mercy, help us. <laughs> So, you have Toya riding down the street in her golf cart, okay? They get to the tennis practice, and the girls are actually having a good time, and that's all it matters. As long as they're having a good time and having fun, that's really what matters. And at the end of the day, it's thundering. Let me tell you something. I do not play with thunder. When it's thundering, I like to be in the house. I don't play with it. I like, I am that girl. I don't like to be outside with thunder. So that scene, we would have cut that scene very short. All right? <laughs> and you have no idea. Toy could be the next Serena if she really put her mind to it and get better and continue to practice tennis. It seemed like Latoya, oh my God, not Latoya. What am I saying? It seemed like Toya really likes tennis. I'm glad to see something that she is passionate about. And she really passionate about this tennis. So good for her finding then something that she actually likes. Good for you, Toy. You have Dr. Contesta and Dr. Jackie actually meets in front of Dr. Contesta's news um, practice. And Dr. Contesta is excited to show Dr. Jackie her practice. And it's like a little sister Showing a big sister like what how, look what I have accomplished. That's to me. That's what I got It's like a little sister trying to show to her big sister like I have accomplished this. Okay. Are you happy for me? <laughs> Let me tell you Dr. Jackie is proud of Dr. Contessa 
But Dr. Jackie has some concerns about her practice <laughs> because it's like Dr. Contessa actually built another home instead of a doctor office. And what is this really about? Is this practice another home to escape from your real home? Just a question in mind. That's to me what Dr. Jackie was trying to get at. She like, why do your practice has a shower in it? And I agree with Dr. Jackie. It's like she built another home, even though it's nice. It's nice. But it's like a second home that we gonna call a practice. All right? And Dr. Jackie actually gives Dr. Contesta good advice on what happened to her practice, how she made mistakes with billing, billing the patients late, and buying expensive um, products for her business. She said, you really don't want to go down that road and start out like that because you can, it can affect your business, um, a lot. And Dr. Contessa was very happy to receive that information because she really want her business to succeed. I don't want everybody's business to succeed. I don't want nobody to be a failure at the end of the day. So I'm glad Dr. Jackie actually sit down with Dr. Contessa and give her that advice. So at the end of the day, Dr. Jackie actually have concerns about this practice. Like, is this practice is going to hurt her marriage or is it going to really help her marriage? Because Dr. Contessa is going to be working with her husband and if their marriage is not good, how is this going to work out? And she actually asked them, are they in counseling? And nobody is in counseling. And right now, their marriage is very rocky. And how is this going to work with the new practice? I said at the end of the day, Dr. Jackie gave Dr. Contessa good advice. But Dr. Contessa don't want to listen to nobody. To me, Dr. Contessa want to do what she want to do and don't want to listen. And I get that with Dr. Jackie. Because Dr. Jackie is trying to tell her about the lows about marriage. And Dr. Contessa don't even want to hear about the lows. Baby, life is about ups and downs. You're going to have to learn about the ups and downs and the highs. It's not always about the highs. And I feel like Dr. Jackie is right. Dr. Contesta is like all over the place. She want to do everything. We all want to do everything. But we got to take baby steps and do one thing at a time sometimes. I'm not saying that we can't do everything. But sometimes we got to learn to master one thing first before we can take on another task. We got a rocky marriage and then we got a new business coming in at the same time. And everybody want to work on their marriage, but nobody's in counseling. All right? And Dr. Contessa, you don't listen at all. You is very hard-headed as a doctor and... Child, you gonna have to work on that. I'm. I don't want to be calling people children. I like Dr. Contessa. You gonna have to work on that because you don't listen at all. Okay. And I say, and some of these doctors, I can't see myself in some of them because I too can be hard headed. But sometimes we gotta learn to sit down and reflect the error of our ways. If you cannot stand correction then it's going to be a problem and you will have more failures than you will have success if nobody can't correct you in this world. Okay? And I'm always standing for correction. Okay? If I'm doing something, please tell me that, yeah, this is not cool. Okay? Um, the words that they're saying is not appropriate. I'm always open to learning new things and learning what is up. Because let me tell you, I'm not up on everything. I don't, I don't be up on everything. And I don't know what is appropriate to say these days. <laughs> people be afraid to speak at all. Because people be like, that's not appropriate. That's not appropriate. They be like, hey, everything not appropriate nowadays. Amelia and her sister is getting the house ready because Amelia parents are coming and they are making up the bed like they children, okay? And Amelia parents actually arrived actually like a little your mother i don't know people that's on tv i always seem to like their parents i don't know <laughs> and to me amelia is right her mother is a fireball she is the storm that is going to take over 
And that's exactly what she is. That means her mother is bright and full of life. And she just likes to talk and probably take over things. Because <laughs> Anelia's mother actually comes and arrives with food. And the food is actually spilly. And Anelia, instead of being appreciative and her mother saying, that's not, you don't do that. You don't appreciate the things that I do. She said, Mom, the thing is spilling. Still, the thing is spilling, Mom. <laughs> and Stella and Nelia just cleaning it up and moving on and saying thank you. She just said, the food is spilling. <laughs> and you could tell Amelia Mom likes to cook. Because the lady brought a lot of food. And Amelia Mom is actually in town. I mean, because of this Indian celebration they will be having. And Amelia's husband actually comes home. He let like, hello, hello, there's nobody here to greet me. <laughs> Yo, that scene had me rolling. I said, I hope Amelia's husband don't think everybody gonna always greet him at the door when he come home. Yo, that's a little bit too much. All right, people do have lives. People can't just be greeting you at the door every day. Like, dude, where you, where you think you at? I like, he tripping with that. And at the end of the day, Anelia husband is upset because the mother made a mess at the front entrance of the door. He like, Anelia, there's food at the door. And like, what is this mess that's going on in my house? Anelia mom is not having it. She is like, she, she's saying what she got to say. She like, how you a plastic surgeon? You fix everybody's face. You fix the world face and you don't fix mine. The mother-in-law want her face to have plastic surgery. I like the mama doing too much a little bit because she don't really need the plastic surgery. And Anelia actually gives a little background how huh? her father met her mother and it's actually an arranged marriage. It was like a lot of ladies lined up and her father actually picked her mother out of a lineup. That's basically what it is. It's like going down to the police station and you pick who the, who the criminal is. <laughs> But the only thing is, it's just the wife. I'm just saying, to me, I just get that scenario. And I said, that's a terrible way to pick your spouse out of a lineup. That's just my opinion. Well, and they've been married ever since, okay? Dr. Eugene worked a 14-hour shift from the hospital and came home to cook. I said, you got to big it up to Dr. Eugene for doing that. He was doing his thing in the kitchen. You understand me? My man was doing the damn thing in the kitchen. Okay? And I like that. Even though he did 14 hours of work, Toya is complaining how frustrated she is that she got to stand over her kids and make sure they do homework. Toya is mad that she got to be a teacher. She got to do housework. She got to be a cook. She got to make sure the kids' is homework done. And it's very frustrating for her, okay, to do this. Toya actually said something funny, which I thought was hilarious. And the kids actually thought she was funny, too. When she said, <laughs> what if someone had four or five childs? I thought that was hilarious. She had me rolling. I said, it's okay. We all say crazy things. And I say crazy things, and people correct me too. And that's what Dr. Eugene did, correct her. <laughs> he was like, it's not four and five childs, it's children, Toya. <laughs> Yo, Toya had me cracking up with that. And it was so funny, her children thought it was funny, okay? Four and five childs. And her son is so smart. He's like, I'm not taking sides, but what you said was hilarious, okay? And Toya feel like Dr. Eugene is turning her kids against her. And she feel like Dr. Eugene is drowning her out by the cooking. Yo, Toya is something else. I swear to God. I feel like it really takes a special person to deal with a special woman, okay? Because only a special man know how to deal with a special woman at the end of the day. So, God do know how to partner up people with the right people. Toya is something else. I'm serious. She is something else. Toya had me running with the four and five child. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. That was freaking hilarious. Nobody else thought that was funny. Oh, my God. And I think Toya 
is more stressed about paying $25,000 for a child who is basically staying home. Because I know that would frustrate me. And at the end of the day, I would not pay that for a child's tuition, okay? I like, for me to pay $25,000, my child must be an inventor. They must have had invented something or created a business, all right? And they must know how to do their own fractions, and I must not be able to stand over them while doing homework if I'm going to pay that much money. I think Toya needs to make some adjustments with their schooling where she could get them in a nice, affordable school and pay less. That's just my opinion and still get the same results. Everybody, Kwai is in the building. Kwai is in the building. And let me tell you something. I really liked that Mariah and Kwai as friends. And when their relationship was over, I was devastated, actually. Because I thought Mariah and Kwai made the best of friends. And I loved their vibe when they was together. They was actually funny and did good together vibing together i guess and when they broke their relationship i really felt like that was a damper to everything and to the show but quiet is in the building y'all and you know who how she visits she visited dr heavenly house and my girl quiet is not playing she is throwing mad shade to toya Okay, Dr. Heavily showed her a video that she did not know nothing about. That's what she said. She didn't know nothing about that video. And Quad is stirring the mix up, okay? She like Toya bag, borrow, and stole to get the pool in for her house, all right? I like, child, these ladies are crazy. I know everybody on this show have been in debt at one point in their life. And they just be making fun of Toya about her being in debt. But I understand why they talk about Toya debt a lot. Because every season, Toya look like she in debt. I like, damn, girl. When is the season that you ever going to be out of debt? I think it was one season that she just got out of debt and she had a party for her. And Doctor Contessa threw shades of her. Like, we having a party for paying our bills on time. And Toya did not like that. But Toya, you do be in debt every season. And sometimes that storyline can get annoying. I like, damn, like, girl, when you ever going to be out of debt? Child? And I think Toya do need to see a counselor. Not for her marriage, but I think... Toya have money complex issues. It's like, I agree with Kwai. It's like, Toya need materialistic things to validate her. Such as area code, monies, houses, bags, and cars. And that is not a way to live. I feel like that is unhealthy. And I think Toya need to see a counsel about that. But I feel like as a wife, I don't want to work my husband to death. I would want my husband to have it easy just a little bit. Not make it too hard. But I don't want to kill my husband <laughs> by him having him working hard so he can supply the things that I need. I say it should be an equal give and take with finances in a one household. That's just my opinion. Whatever. Some people might say the man should pay all the bills, the man should do all this. I say it should be equal burdens taken off each other. When you're in a two-parent household, I don't know. And you have quiet talking about she's single and she dating and she ain't getting in between the shit with nobody. I doubt that. How you single and you not getting it popping with nobody. <laughs> and they made jokes how. Dr. Heavenly was a freak in the streets, child, before she met Dr. Damien, okay? It is the day of the celebration of Rasha Ragdown. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. Please forgive me. I tried, <laughs> I tried to pronounce it right. And it's also called, aka known as Rocky. This celebration is in summer. It's, 
is celebrating on August 22nd. And it's actually a national holiday in um, the Indian culture, which is about brother and sister day and the love they share for each other and how they have to protect each other no matter how far world they are in the world. They will always have that bond with each other. And I thought everybody looked beautiful. I love the decor at the restaurant. I love the colors, the flowers. It was beautiful. And let me tell you, Anelia family came dressed down to the nine in the Indian outfits, baby. They was dressed to the gods. Yes, God. And the guests have started arriving. They like the food. They like the drinks and everything. Everybody is having a good time. It actually started off on a good foot. And it actually turned sour. My God. Dr. Contesta blew up like a erupted volcano. Do you understand me? All because Amelia was trying to bring Toya and Dr. Contesta together. I said the way... Dr. Contesta acted, was so disrespectful, and then she did it in front of Amelia mom and her children. I like, sometimes I feel like Dr. Contesta can have a good heart, but the way she acted was not right. I feel like Dr. Contesta owe Amelia apology how she acted in front of her family because you attended an Indian event that you did not respect their culture or their family. At the end of the day, if you did not like what Amelia was saying, all you have to say, I respectfully decline and I'm going to leave before I act the fool. By you throwing the napkin on Amelia's head like that, it's so disrespectful, child. And then you doing it in front of her children like that? How would somebody came to your event and did that to you? You would not like that and you would want an apology. I know you would. I know this. Black Americans like to dish out nastiness, but when somebody do it to them, and they like to play victim, and I'm not with it. If you're going to be nasty to people, and somebody be nasty back to you, you should be able to take it at the end of the day and not play victim. Okay? And at the end of the day, they need to bring Mariah back. All right? At the end of the day, you are spectacular. Don't forget to let your light shine. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.